In this lecture, I will discuss about uh, the transportation drawings. In the transportation drawings, I will discuss about the bridge drawings. Okay, here is the complete drawings of a bridge. Okay, and let me zoom. Okay, now zooming is enough. Okay, here is the list of uh, drawings like survey layout plan. Okay, where the uh, bridge will be constructed existing nala cross sections this bridge is constructed over the uh, wastewater so that's why existing uh, nala cro cross section that is a wastewater journal notes general arrangement bridge cross section and other details abutment details pier piles details wing wall uh, pre-stressed concrete girder details okay all the details i will discuss briefly in this lecture okay first of all survey layout plan here is the uh, survey layout plan one let me click again okay here here the wastewater nala drain is shown and here is the road which is coming uh, and uh, for the passing of the road over the drain here is the proposed location of the bridge okay here you can see this is the inclined bridge and here is a drain okay here is a side plan for the bridge now i will show the next drawing next drawing is the existing nala cross section okay here I will go in the detail okay here is the side plan and here you can see the Nala cross section uh, here is the wastewater drain cross sections section AA section BB section CC means uh, cross section has been shown at three different locations what is at CC BB and AA okay uh, how much is the water depth and uh, what is the side elevations so all shown in the cross sections so that is uh, existing nala or wastewater drain cross section the third rank is journal notes okay here is the journal notes means what the standard is followed uh, for the design of this bridge as though and uh, what live loads are considered okay and uh, what is the strength of concrete uh, for example a uh, reinforced concrete that is for use for approach slab for deck slab that is 4000 and for the pre-stress concrete girders 5000 okay here is the steel reinforcement the grade is used 60,000 psi 60 grade steel okay so all the informations like uh, development lengths con concrete covers all uh, these types and even the abbreviations are shown in the journal notes the next is the journal arrangement means the uh, arrangement of the bridge okay so journal arrangement that is four okay but the sheet number is uh, stz01 so i will go st01 that is journal reinforcement uh, journal arrangement of bridge so our bridge is inclined so here is the plan view of the bridge okay here you can see in the detail okay here is the plan view of the bridge the longitudinal beams okay here is the cross section here a, a cross section of this bridge you can see here bridge will start from one side and end to the other side okay here uh, is the uh, one side of the bridge and this is the length of the beam okay so one length of one uh, uh, pre-stressed concrete girder beam that is 64 feet 64 feet 64 feet total length is 169 feet okay so center uh, co uh, columns in the bridge are called piers so that are piers and uh, at the end of uh, when the girder is placed on the both sides uh, rubber bearings are provided okay here and here okay 
rubber bearings and here stone pitching is provided okay so that uh, the uh, stone pitching is provided so that the soil do not uh, erode from the side okay and at the end of this bridge here that is that is called wing walls okay so here is a general arrangement of the bridge the longitudinal beams one two three and these beams are resting on this on uh, on these beams these longitudinal beams means these uh, pre-stressed girders are resting on this uh, horizontal beams okay and the the longitudinal beams are interconnected by short beams that are called diaphragms okay that are called diaphragms now i will discuss each details like what will be the reinforcement details for the pre-stress girder for the deck slab okay and for the uh, what is the specification for the bearing pad so all real details will be discussed one by one so next is the five uh, bridge cross section and miscellaneous de details okay so here that is a general arrangement now for bridge cross section here is the bridge cross section okay so that is uh, cut in this direction and the inner details have been seen okay that is the horizontal beam the horizontal beam the other name is also called that is transom transom uh, all the uh, longitudinal girders on all, all these longitudinal girders are resting on this horizontal beam this horizontal beam is called transom so that is transom these are the girders which are rest on this uh, horizontal beam okay so above these girders there is a deck slab and on above the deck slab that will be wearing cord for the road mm, uh, that is uh, asphalt carpet etc on the left and the right side uh, these are called barriers okay the details of barriers is also shown okay now i will move for the next zero one okay now i will go to for the cross section and the other details here is the bridge cross section that is i have shown in the previous and what will be the details of this barrier okay here and what will be the reinforcement details okay what will be the uh, uh, specifications of this bearing on which the girder will rest okay here you can see bridge bearing pads and that is the expansion and uh, expansion joint details when the uh, two girders are joined okay uh, here is the general arrangement okay when the left girder and the right girder join at one point then uh, they uh, left a small space and this space is uh, filled by expansion joint so that's why the detail of expansion joint is shown here how the expansion joint will be constructed okay so the next is the abutment details abutment details the uh, here I will go back in the general details okay here this portion that is called abutment uh, the uh, the left spot of the bridge that is called a uh, left abutment the right spot is called the right abutment okay so next is the abutment details here is the abutment details okay the on the left spot on the bridge bearing pads the girder will rest okay all the details of this and the horizontal beam on which the girders will rest so that is the horizontal beam okay the details you can see here in detail the reinforcement details of the girder uh, of the horizontal beam okay and how the bridge bearings will be placed and how the girder will come on this bridge bearings all details are shown in the abutment details next is the pier details the central columns details here is the pier details okay so here uh, is the pier details okay when uh, the horizontal beam is placed 
then the under there is columns are present okay so uh, what will be the enforcement will be provided okay and and the one more thing uh, here the girder will come and this portion uh, will remain empty and here small portion provided upward projected like here and on the left side uh, uh, one beam will rest girder will rest and on the right side other girder will rest and here is the section 3 3 okay so here some little projection upward now for the after the peer detail i will go for the dex lab reinforcement here is the dex lab reinforcement model okay here is a cross section how the reinforcement top uh, dex lab top reinforcement bottom reinforcement here is the plan with the uh, detail the dex lab thickness is 9 inch and the detail of top and bottom reinforcement is shown here okay so next is uh, dex lab de reinforcement details next is diaphragm reinforcement details the connecting beam and uh, the detail of connecting beam okay so here is diaphragm details i have already discussed what is diaphragm here is a general reinforcement plan the longitudinal girders are connected with small beams that are called diaphragms so here is the diaphragm details here what will uh, here is a uh, depth of the beam here that is a good view with colors okay uh, what reinforcement will be provided so all details will be given in the uh, diaphragm details of diaphragm now the details of piles wing wall and approach slab so i will go here here is the uh, simple uh, description okay here is a bridge pier here is a left abutment right abutment and behind the abutment there is wing walls why wing walls are provided so that soil behind the bridge remain constrained that do not move and do not fall into the uh, river or the drain okay so that is the uh, wing walls so let's see the details of wing walls and the approach slab okay when the road uh, uh, when uh, on the left side roads come to the bridge and before the starting of the bridge a slab is provided that is called approach slab okay so here now i uh, i will show the details here is the behind the uh, abutment that is wing wall the wing wall detail wing wall reinforcement okay similarly here is the plan view okay so now in the drawing okay so now i will move for the next uh, slide that is uh, 64 feet pre-stress concrete girder pre-stressing details okay that is given uh, in the one slide here nine here is the detail here pre-stressing tendons are provided uh, or post tension tendons are provided in the pre-stress girders uh, uh, why we provide that is separate discussion we got the benefits with this and and our be, uh, be, uh, bridge deck uh, girders are much stronger with the pre-stressing so the detail of reinforcement okay the tendons profiles all are given in the uh, girders in the 64 feet uh, pre-stressing uh, concrete girder okay so that's all for the transportation drawings have a nice day